Now let's talk about social networks and health outcomes. We already know from previous modules that individuals of lower socioeconomic status and minorities are placed at higher risk of COVID due to discrimination, social inequality, health inequities, and systemic injustice. While we've examined variations in health outcomes from several perspectives, social networks can serve as another social determinant of health and COVID-19 risk factor. Social networks are likely to impact health in addition to the social determinants of health we've analyzed previously. Much of the COVID-19 related research focuses on social networks and public health. Research has demonstrated the impact our social networks and social ties have on individual health and health related decision making. Social networks and ties have been shown to impact our health in at least three ways behaviorally, psychosocially, and physiologically. First, our social networks can impact our health-related behavior by having an influence over our decisions based on norms and senses of responsibility. In other words, norms that are standard within our social networks have the power to influence our health-related behavior. For example, person A's social network has the power to impact their behavior related to social distancing wearing masks and hand sanitizing based on the degree to which they comply with government recommendations. If everyone else in the social network refuses to wear a mask, person A is less likely to wear a mask also, as it is not the norm within their network. Second, social ties impact our health psychosocially by providing social support and potentially improving mental health. However, this could also have a negative impact as there may be peer pressure within the network to fit in by engaging in unhealthy behavior. For example, person B has a strong social network. However, they have just returned from a visit with their family in Quebec and are therefore required to quarantine for 14 days. Person B's social network makes sure that they continue to feel supported by the network even when socially isolated. They FaceTime and drop groceries off and make sure person B stays mentally and physically well. Finally, our social networks impact our physiological health by affecting our immune responses, cardiovascular systems, and stress responses. As we learned in the health and equity module, stress from discrimination can contribute to poorer health outcomes in minority groups. On the other hand, being exposed to a wide social network may serve to improve an individual's immune response, but not in the context of a pandemic. These three mechanisms through which our social networks impact health demonstrate that our health in COVID-19 is not only impacted by physical proximity to an infected individual, but importantly, by our social networks and ties.